Hello class. Now in this lecture we will see what are the different causes of the energy crisis. We have seen uh, in the previous lecture the energy crisis is not real in for the current generation but it is will be de uh, definitely in next to next generation. Okay. So due to <clears throat> which reason the energy crisis supposed to be a phase by the next to next generation. So this is our uh, this is due to our lifestyle. Okay, so those are the lifestyle I have discussed over here, which need to be a change or which need to be a modified. Okay, so all those uh, thing here I supposed to discuss you, which uh, which uh, representing the causes of the energy crisis. The first cause is nothing but the overconsumption. What mean overconsumption? It means for just for the example. Okay, the country likes Dubai. The country like uh i meant to say gulf country okay they have a lot of resources of crude oil they have a lot of resources of natural gases so if you check the cost of petrol or diesel in those country definitely it will be very negligible if i compare the price present in india they will just uh giving a 40 40 rupees uh, not for that is 14 rupees behind the one liter petrol okay it is very cheap that it is a 14 rupees of their country not our country they are just giving a 14 rupees behind a one liter petrol okay so it is very cheap so as they are as in those country a petrol is available at that much cheap rate they used to have a bigger car with big cc they will use to uh, use of SUVs only but if we look a scenario of our country we are first of all thinking what is the average of vehicle whether it is giving the average more than uh, 15 or 14 or even though we are thinking for the more than 20 okay so the country like those okay Gulf country they are over consuming the fuel as they are having a lot of resources Okay, so this is the thing, even though if you uh, look into uh, in our home appliance, okay, there are many things, many for many things we are trying to um, uh, employ a machine, okay, uh, we are trying for massage purpose, we are using a machine, okay, for fan on off purpose, we are using a remote control in some, some people's, okay, so these are, we are, those all are, we are using the over consumption of the energy, why we should be using the over, uh, why we are uh, making over consumption, if we keep doing this over consumption, so on, definitely the problem of energy guys will be there, okay, so whenever we are making a over consumption, over consumption of electricity, over consumption of crude oil, okay, over consumption of natural gases, then what affects our water, natural resources affect, like water and oxygen resources are affect. So again, for water purification, we are using the electricity, but from, from uh, which source we are borrowing that electricity, from the thermal power plant, again for the generation of the electricity, that electricity we supposed to burn a coal in that thermal power plant, okay or we have to burn a diesel in that thermal power plant so to uh, to filter the oxygen we are here uh, fitted we are supposed to use a room air filter okay oxygen room air filter or like a product coming in uh, right now come coming into market okay which clear the oxygen present in the uh, room okay so those are working on the electricity for that purpose we are also using electricity so that electricity uh, generated somewhere in thermal power plant where fuel is used for the uh, uh, what we can say for running the thermal power plant okay so the over consumption we need to uh, first of all uh, reduce if whether we are uh, keep on doing this thing definitely energy crisis will be there now let's see overpopulation so overpopulation is uh, another thing because as the people increases uh, in one family definitely their demand also in their needs also increasing okay so what kind of their needs uh, the if we look for the um, a normal middle class middle uh, class family then if that middle class family have a four member four adult member then definitely four vehicle will be there 
two, four bikes will be there, four two wheelers will be there. Okay, so each two wheeler consumes of fuel. Okay, whenever a family member is increased, we try for we try to go for the big house, one BHK to two BHK, two BHK to three BHK, just for the privacy. What will happen? Electricity will consume as that much room. You will uh, expanding your uh, uh, living area, your room uh, that carpet area. Definitely, electricity will be consumed. On on this electricity demand will will uh, what uh, increasing the strain on uh, electric uh, that thermal power plant. Okay. So this thing is overpopulation also responsible to our uh, uh, energy crisis okay after poor infrastructure there are many things in the uh, uh, in the uh, power transportation for example power transportation purpose we are using the infrastructure i mean to say for transferring the power one end to another end we are using a grid okay we are using a power grid power line okay so if we use a efficient grid for the transportation of electricity if we use a efficient transportation for the fuel transporting one end to another end if you talk about the electricity we have we know that there is a big network of high high tension wire is uh, crossing the hill uh, crossing the uh, mountains and coming into the city okay so those infrastructure are get aged uh, whenever it get aged their resistance internal resistance for transferring the electricity is increases so due to that there is a drop of voltage is take place for example if i um, want to transfer a uh, electricity from nagpur to mumbai okay i have to bridge a network wire network in between nagpur to mumbai with uh, with a tower that elect a high tension tower okay uh, I'm talking about the electricity right now. So I have to build a big network, wire network in between Nagpur to Mumbai. After the 15 years or after the 10 years, due to the effect of the uh, rain, due to the effect of the environment, the uh, that uh, due to the effect of the corrosion and so on, deposition, oxidation. Okay, the internal resistance of those wire will increase definitely. So in between this two station Nagpur to Mumbai. The voltage drop also goes on increases so it is nothing but what poor infrastructure if we talk about the field field transportation if we have seen there is a transportation take place of uh, fuel by tanker okay one city to another city we are carrying a fuel by tanker for example uh, the indian oil company is located at the mumbai so uh, transport the fuel to pune we are using a tanker that truck okay so this is a trans poor transportation that truck also consuming some amount of fuel okay so this is even though it, it polluting the environment okay so these are the thing poor infrastructure instead of that if we uh, bridge a pipeline in between uh, metro cities for the transportation of the fuel as uh, did in, in gulf city they are having a big pipeline pipeline network in their uh, metro cities okay so transportation of the fuel they are take place by pipe only okay so whenever we are employing such infrastructure then definitely for the transportation purpose whatever the energy are wasting will be a recover and this problem will somewhat uh, postpone for next to next generation okay so this is the thing after that unexplored renewable energy option renewable it is unexplored energy uh, option is nothing but still we are not at all using a solar purely or dedicated solar system we are only in mini projects only in uh, uh, we can say concepts concept project we are saying i have developed that uh, renewable uh, so and so product okay it is not like we are not exploring it uh, at commercial level many times we have seen there is a uh, solar uh, heater is uh, located on the roof of some people so they they are even they are also uh, even those people also not uh, continue that system after this uh, two to three years they will used to used to eliminate that system and they will start to use a electric heater so we are not exploring more renewable because uh, it it uh, it demands a more uh, maintenance cost as uh, the maintenance cost and it having a huge size okay but 
it is demanding a huge cost for maintenance just because as they are not popular that much okay so that's why we are not getting a skilled labor everywhere we are only getting a few skilled labor to maintain that thing so definitely they will demand a huge money to maintain that thing okay so that's why people are trying to discontinue the renewable energy so whenever we are dedicatedly focusing on the renewable energy sources like windmill like uh, solar system okay uh, so that time definitely the maintenance cost and the initial cost of the those system will reduce even though our our country are try to uh, import a solar sails that solar panels from the country like china they are uh, importing the solar panel from the taiwan okay so if they start to uh, make in india okay then definitely uh, uh, we, uh, the cost will be reduced that initial cost will reduce and the skill manpower will get more work to uh, maintain that thing okay so uh, whenever we are exploring the renewable energy sources the burden on the oil gas and the coal will be reduces for the electricity demand okay so this is the unexplained energy sources uh, will be the responsible to energy crisis now next is delay in commission of power plants okay delay in commissioning of power a few countries there is a significant delay in commissioning of new power plant that can be feel a gap between demand and supply of energy the result is that old plant come under huge stress to meet the daily demand of demand for power when the supply doesn't matches demand it result in load scheduling and the breakdown load shedding and the breakdown so uh, there are uh, the, as i told you energy crisis is nothing but what the a uh, hike in price so whenever for example uh, there is a one uh, city for the one city well, just take an example for uh, mumbai i have uh, to cope up a demand of to cope up a demand of electricity of mumbai i have i have uh, made a power plant a and some year after okay some, some year later a uh, pune also demanding a power from that power plant a then that power plant a will have a burden demand that demand burden of mumbai and pune both okay so to cope up that demand of this two city is very difficult to that power plant a because that power plant a only designed to cope, uh, to fulfill the demand of mumbai so to try out the demand of this both city the alternately mumbai, uh, that power plant a will apply a load shedding okay and it is depend on a uh, working uh, our uh, habit of country in pune the people working at night then definitely load shedding for uh, um, work uh, at morning or day working hour they will um, used to put a load shedding okay for that specific if uh, working habit of mumbai people are at daytime then they used to put a load shedding at night time in mitc area okay so these are these are the things they are to cope up so this is the this energy crisis will uh, face by those city in terms of the price hike so that uh, um, power station a will be demand more money as they have a huge demand because seller is one that uh, energy uh, station a and two consumer are demanding the power to uh, to run its mids okay so definitely that uh, seller a that is power station a will uh, uh, will ask a more money for per unit to a uh, per unit to mitc so definitely the uh, uh, definitely the uh, mitc of mumbai and mitc of pune uh, uh, feels a nature uh, feels atmosphere atmosphere like energy crisis but it is not true energy crisis because there is a de delay in commissioning of new power plant so if uh, we commission commissioning a new power plant for pune uh, itself uh, separately definitely a high price hike will be not faced by those mids so this is a atmos this is the atmosphere created by uh, energy crisis okay as there is a delay in commissioning of power plant so whenever we are having a separate power plant uh, it is just example it is not like uh, each city have their own power plant okay it is region wise okay region, it, it definitely region wise take west zone uh, north zone in that way uh, power plant is uh, set up okay so now we will see the uh, another uh, energy crisis issue that is a waste of energy there are too much waste energy uh, uh, is there in case of our machines uh, uh, 
any machines like our home appliance machines or in case of our IC engine also. So there are lots of energy waste is there, but we are not at all recovering that waste. Okay. So whenever we try to use a recovery waste, we, we try to uh, use a such a thing to uh, have a waste recovery. Okay. So in that case, we can uh, 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 reduce the problem of energy crisis. For example, the lots of energy we are losses in our uh, frictional uh, friction uh, frictional uh, in terms of the frictional losses we are supposed to waste lot of heat energy or lost of a lot of power in our IC engine. Even the exhaust gases having uh, uh, too much heat energy, which is get waste out. So if we employ a turbocharger in every engine. Definitely, that waste, waste heat recovery can take can uh, possible up to same um, up to some extent. Okay, so number of options are available there to have a waste heat recovery. Okay, so whenever we try to have a waste uh, energy recovery, that time definitely what will happen? We will uh, postpone that energy crisis problem. So this is the thing. Okay, if you read, there it is that in most part of the world, people do not realize the importance of the conserving energy it is only limited to the book internet newspaper ads lip services and the seminars unless we give it a serious thought the thing are not going to change anytime sooner okay the simple things like switching off fans and light when not in use using maximum daylight okay walking inside of driving instead of driving for short distance turn off engine on traffic signal using cfl instead of traditional bulbs proper insulation for leakages okay of energy can go long way to saving so these are the waste waste thing if, if you are using the cfl instead of traditional bulb if you are switching off if you are turning off your engine during traffic signal you are wasting your energy okay it is not recovered okay you are just using for a uh, or uh, bikes or four wheelers for the short distance traveling instead of walking okay so these are the things uh, which can which which are not recovered it's a waste of energy okay so uh, uh, you, you are not again you are not you are making a proper insulation uh, for the wires if there is a leakage even though in case of the heaters okay even though in case of the uh, boilers so if proper leak uh, proper heat uh, that insulation is not there, uh, there for the uh, leakage of the heat energy definitely the waste uh, waste of the energy is there okay so the, it will act it is another part of the poor infrastructure we are not maintaining our infrastructure so due to that also waste of energy is there now poor distribution system frequent tripping and breakdown are result of poor distribution system okay frequent tripping and breakdown so frequent tripping is nothing but for one thing we have to make a too much trips in between two stations okay similarly uh, previously i'll uh, give, uh, give the example that um, if a, a transport of fuel from mumbai to pune we have we are using a um, what we can say we are using a truck container for the traveling of uh, transportation of fuel from mumbai to pune so the truck having a capacity of for example 4000 liters okay uh, one truck and that one truck make a 30 trips in between mumbai to pune in one month for example okay so if instead of that one truck if i use a wagon that train wagon okay uh, which carrying a fuel a fuel container on it so in one attempt that train can carry a more than 30 tanker capacity in one trip only okay means if i use a truck to transport a fuel from mumbai to pune okay in month 30 in month for, for 30 times then in one trip only a train wagon can do a work of uh, one month of that truck okay so if we are keep using a trucks for distribution of fuel from one city to another city then it is difficult but this is a uh, nothing but a poor distribution system okay so it is if in case of the train wagon okay that fuel uh, train wagon it is cheaper and it is uh, not a frequent I mean one trip you can uh, deliver a stock of one month to that city that it is 
it is very uh, preferable you wish have to prefer it because it reduces the problem of energy crisis but uh, every time it is not like that okay so this thing to be a develop okay this i give i give you just one, one example of poor distribution system so there are too many example for the poor distribution system okay after that major accident in natural climates okay so uh, we have um, uh, we are day by day we are uh, day by day we are heard about uh, the tsunami we have heard about the cyclone okay so during this cyclone and uh, during this climatic climatic uh, natural disasters okay so many infrastructure get a uh, damage a lot okay so whenever those infrastructure get damage okay that time a distribution get cut out for example if roads between mumbai to pune get damaged due to flood or damaged due to the earthquake definitely there is a no no supply of fuel take place in between mumbai and pune so due to that what will happen whatever the whatever the fuel available at the petrol pump at pune will have will cost a more okay or there is a shortage of fuel will take place so in that sense uh, some people try to sell uh, available fuel in black market also okay they are try to sell a fuel the black way also they will demand a more so th this is nothing but the energy crisis in terms of price hike which is created by that situation but not real after some time it will be a resolve it is just created for that circumstance or of sake of time till that our infrastructure is not rebuilt again okay so major accident and natural climate also responsible for the uh energy crisis okay so it is the, those energy crisis not real ha huh? but if there is uh, the thing like happen uh, if um, the resources of dubai uh, gulf country get burnt it catches the fire then month a month they uh, the, those fire is difficult to uh, to control in those cases also uh, the energy crisis will be there because if the gulf uh, resources uh, catches the fire then it will takes a 2 to 3 months to uh, vanish it or the control it in those time there is a uh, completely uh, they, they have to stop the uh, su supply of their uh, resources to other other countries so in those cases this thing uh, may be arise uh, in front of us again okay so it is it is only for the that time being only not a for the entire uh, time after the, uh, that situation okay now another thing is a wars and attack so if a war between two countries there and specifically when war between a one developed country are take place with a gulf country who fulfilling a demand of fuel to end uh, of entire globe like saudi arabia iraq iran kuwait or you Uh, UAE or Qatar, those country are the leading country who feel who who fulfilling the demand of fuel of globe. Whenever a war condition generated in those country, definitely those country are try to hold their resources. If America, just for example, I'm uh, not um, promoting this thing. Just for the example. Uh, i'm just take a example of xyz country okay so this xyz country are uh, are in are in phase of making war in uh, one of the country uh, from this list okay so what will happen this saudi arabia will hold their fuel resources for themselves only why he will distribute their resources to other country because right now they are requiring a fuel for their Uh, army uh, vehicles their army instruments okay if it is uh, it is uh, uh, the demand is more in their country only they will not send you for uh, uh, their resources to the other country okay they will not uh, send you the fuel to the country a who uh, in a phase of war in saudi arabia okay so definitely whenever war attack is there they will hold their resources they will not distribute so in that case again price high uh, hike will be there so that price hike is for that particular situation okay so that this is not a true energy crisis it is a energy shortage for that time being okay so this is the another uh, so in this causes uh, the some causes are 
is not a uh, is not responsible for the uh, creating a two energy crisis problem it is for the time being problem and the initial uh, causes which have uh, discussed that is over consumption over population poor infrastructure okay unexplored energy renewable energy sources uh, after that waste of energy those are responsible to create a, a real energy crisis in next to next generation but the problem like delay in commissioning power plant poor distribution system uh, major accident and natural climate and war and attack are the thing or the causes only develops a energy crisis like situation in uh, just for that time being not for the entire time after that situation okay so this is the thing uh, which uh, which is responsible for the energy crisis uh, i hope you understand uh, the, uh, those uh, discussed thing if you feel any difficulty uh, do comment in our comment section thank you